In an age where all the music you could ever want will stream to your cell phone, why would I carry an iPod, and why are other people starting to? Let's talk about it. This is a sixth generation iPod classic. I did a video a couple years ago on daps and why it's nice to carry a dap other than just a phone, but I've also done videos on why you might carry something like the Quest Style M15 and just use that. And an iPod, well, these have been around for a while, but there's a lot of modifications people are doing to them these days. This sixth generation iPod Classic has had its storage swapped out for an SSD and the operating system swapped out for something called Rockbox. Now, Rockbox is pretty cool. As you can tell, this doesn't look like a normal iPod. Now listen to that sound. Very satisfying. That's because Rockbox is actually a custom operating system, so you can put themes on this device. Now it's a sort of Spotify-like theme, but it doesn't stop there. You can also just drag and drop files straight onto it without having to use iTunes to sync, which is really convenient. And there's a lot of sound settings. You can limit the volume, you can adjust bass and treble, you can adjust the overall tilt from 20 to 20 kilohertz. You can set a balance between left and right, you can set separate equalizers between left and right, as well as a more in-depth equalizer on here. You can adjust the filter, you can adjust spatial audio settings, you can even enable crossfeed and adjust the crossfeed settings, how intense it is, what it's doing, what kind of gain it's adding. You can slow and increase the playback speed, so many things, and also when I lock the iPod, it puts the display to sleep immediately. You can also do other things. You can control your computer with this and use it as a mouse, but what I use it for is simple for my IEMs. Now, something like this is certainly strong enough for a lot of headphones. It's good for things like the MDR7506. It's good for things like the CD900ST, the Bear Dynamic DT900 Pro X. Of course, it's not going to power your super hard to drive planars and some of your 300 plus ohm headphones will struggle a bit. But for the other headphones I listed, even things like the K361 would be perfect for it. Well, I use IEMs. Now, I know I'm not alone in this. There is a massive community of people, audiophiles specifically, who are really into iPods. And I know there is a iPod out there that has a better DAC than this one. Uh, but honestly, I don't think it's the end of the world. I think this one sounds just great, especially with all the different DSP settings that I have available. And again, unlike streaming, I don't ever have to worry about my music randomly disappearing when I'm searching for an album. It's just gonna be there. So this is the IE600, one that I have enjoyed for quite some time now. I still carry them around and I love them with this iPod. It's a nice way to listen to music without any distractions at all whatsoever. The battery life is absolutely insane. You can just listen for days on end sometimes. Without a hard drive in it, it's extremely light, much lighter and much smaller than pretty much all the DAP options you can get on the market. Most of those are bigger and heavier than your average cell phone. This, well, it's like carrying a slim wallet. Actually, it basically is the same size as my wallet, and they weigh about the same too. Of course, there's a lot of system plugins. Uh, you can play things like 2048, which is kind of hilarious because I used to play this on my phone all the time. That doesn't mean that I'm very good at it, but I try my best. And if you ever need to get back into the normal operating system, all you have to do is restart the device by holding these two buttons, and then as soon as it starts restarting, you just turn down the hold switch. And there you go, normal iPod again, no problems. Of course, it's not showing all the things that I was using on Rockbox because, well, this is through just music you have to sync through iTunes. If you want to restart in Rockbox, all I have to do is restart the iPod again with the hold switch turned off. And look at that, we are right back in to our open source operating system. I'm going to set this back to my theme that I had running here. Now the biggest downside that I found with this entire setup is just that the battery estimation Rockbox uses does not seem very accurate. It'll say I'm at 50% battery, and then I'll start playing music and it'll jump up to 70 or 80%, and then it'll go back down to 50, and it'll go back up to like 90. It doesn't really seem to know exactly what's going on, and the battery in this is great, so I'm not actually getting a, a dying battery or anything like that. Uh, it just seems really bad at estimating the actual battery life. I also have a bit of nostalgia for the old locking connectors these used to use. Anyway, I figured that would be a fun video. This is the two devices I'm bringing with me to the next trade show, Can Jam New York City, which I hope to see you guys at. I have my Quest Style M15 here to try more demanding things out when I need to use a balanced signal, and then I'll be using this iPod for, well, anything easy to power and IEMs. Though Quest Style is coming out with a newer amp that has analog inputs, it's about the same size as this iPod, and I'm pretty tempted to just slap it right on the back and just use this guy. 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know iPods have a nostalgic point for a lot of people. My first iPod was one of the classics with the black and white screen on it. I still love that thing. And I love if they put little hard drives in them. Tell me what you think about iPods. Would you rather use a DAP? Am I silly? Do you just want to use an Apple dongle? Let's talk about it respectfully to each other in the comment section down below. But I think that is going to wrap this one up, guys. So if you liked it, leave a like down below. Comment, let me know what you want to see in the future if you want to get active in the community. But I think that is going to wrap this one up, guys. So if you like this video, leave a like down below. A comment, let me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, in the forum or Discord, both available at the link in the video description. And as always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next one, guys. Peace.